Tuscaloosa TV presents in 3, 2, 1. Dateline Schools with your host, Terry Harrington. All this week on Dateline Schools, we're taking a look at the new testing that the state of Michigan is implementing in our schools throughout St. Clair County and the state of Michigan. To tell us all about it, my special guest is the Director of Education Services here at St. Clair County RESA, Dr. Joanne Hopper. And Dr. Hopper, are the subjects still the same that the state's going to be assessing, or are they making some tweaks there too? The subjects themselves are the same. There's English language arts, mathematics, science, and social studies at the elementary through eighth grade through the middle school. And then at the high school, as we mentioned on day one, there's a college entrance exam, a work skills exam also on top of that. Is Because they're going to an online component, is that going to change how they assess our students a little bit? Definitely. There are what we call performance tasks. So there'll be classroom activities that the students will engage in with their teachers in a scripted environment that they'll receive the directions and they'll engage in this activity. And then they will, within three days after the classroom activity, in, um, go online and take the performance task um, activity online to answer the questions. Is this this whole new M-STEP program, is that uh, having the districts take a look at their curriculum and make some adjustments accordingly too? I think so. Primarily one of the main focus areas is to get more at the 21st century skills. Are we really helping kids become problem solvers and critical thinkers and evaluators of information. Those are the skills that the global marketplace is demanding. So how can we direct our curriculum to that end and our, make our assessments match up to that? So that's, that's why we're having these shifts anyway. And also too, with the testing in the spring, how's that gonna impact our kids, do you think? Especially the younger ones who are used to it in the fall, they didn't do that this fall. Yeah, for the younger kids, they might not even really, it might just be another day in school, possibly, but really for spring is the challenge is going to be when it starts to get warm in school and get warm outside, you know where your attention gets, you know, the window, um, you look out and there's a bird out there or something, and it's very, um, it's going to be a challenge to stay on task this testing window of April 13th through June 1st. So we know that that's going to be a challenge for kids. And my guess is just coming off a of spring break like we are this year, that'll be an extra challenge. Right, because um, we've got a plan. And for the schools, they are giving these tests with computers, and they need to arrange their classrooms. Not every student will be able to test at once, so they've had to plan out these schedules where they can make sure that the students have access to computers in grade three, and then when can grade four get in there. And so it's quite a logistical challenge that they're engaging in right now to plan that out. More tomorrow for Dateline Schools. I'm Terry Harrington.